push, push. Nice, it's fine. In this video, I'm going to be talking about my peripherals and the peripherals that I like to switch to often if I don't feel like using the peripherals that I normally use. If you're interested in any of the things I'm going to be talking about in this video, there's going to be links in the description to all the products that I'm going to be talking about. Now let's hop into my main peripheral setup. For my mousepad right now, I'm using the Dream Big Work Hard Make It Happen mousepad by Create Work Play. They make more motivational mousepads like this on their website. If you want to check it out, the link will be in the description. But I also really like using the Gutsy Aiden Blue and Black swirl mouse pad they're both really nice mouse pads the quality and stitching on them is great and i would 100 percent recommend them to you guys this right here is my custom keyboard that i built a while back i've been using this keyboard every day and i really like it i really like how it feels the sound and everything about it for the case i'm rocking a gk61 x in white for the stabilizers i lubed them holy modded them and i also band-aid modded them For the switches, I'm using blacks, vintage whites, and novel key creams. Keycaps we're using on this keyboard are white Japanese keycaps. The font looks really nice, and I really like how they feel. And for my escape key, I'm using one of Aseni's Artisans. They look really nice, and yeah, I'll have the link to them down below in the description. Alright, so that's pretty much everything about the keyboard. It's an all-white build. And for my first keyboard build, I think I did a pretty good job for lubing the switches and just building it, honestly. I really like how it sounds, so I guess that's good. Here's how the keycaps kind of look like. They look really nice, and I would 100% recommend them. If you want to pick them up, the link will be in the description. But yeah, now we're going to talk about my mouse. The mouse I use in my gaming setup for video editing and just all of that. I use the Razer Viper Ultimate. It's a really solid mouse. For the price, I think it's really good. It's really light. The glide on it is really good too. On the back of the mouse, you have a button that you could change the DPI with. And you also have an on and off switch. This mouse also has buttons on the left side and the right side. This mouse comes with a charging dock and it does also have RGB. You pretty much set the mouse pad onto the charging dock and it charges. Did I just say mouse pad? To control the RGB on the mouse and also on the charging dock, you download Razer Synapse and you could change it all there. The shape of this mouse kind of doesn't fit me. As you can see, this mouse is pretty much like symmetrical on both sides. I would prefer a much different shape. Damn. All right, I guess the build quality is really solid, but what I was talking about, I love this type of shape, kind of. I'm pretty sure the Razer Ripper Ultimate is right now on a sale for like 80 something dollars. It's normally 150, and I would recommend buying it right now because it's on a pretty big sale. So yeah, you could check that out in the link in the description. Now let's move on to my headset. For my headset at the moment, I'm rocking the SteelSeries Arctis 7 wireless. I picked a wireless headset because when I stream, it's really useful. I really love it. Now that I have a wireless headset, I can't go back to a wired headset. Wireless is just so much better. Even though some people say that there might be like a delay in sound and all of that, but I don't hear any delay and everything is just good for me. So I guess I'm just gonna rock a wireless headset for now. It's a really nice headset, it's really comfy, but there's one thing I don't like about this headset. Stock ear cuffs aren't that comfy, and they're kind of small. Your ears will probably hurt after like 30 minutes of using it. So I would recommend buying these like $20 additional ear cuffs. They're nice leather material and they're really soft and they're a lot bigger so your ears won't really touch like the like bottom part of it so like your ears won't hurt and now because i bought this edition my ears don't hurt while i play this game and i really like this headset so i didn't want like to change out my headset or return it because of this stupid problem so yeah i just bought these extra ear cuffs and they work perfectly i'll have them linked in the description because i know some of you guys might be looking for them the connectivity on this headset is really good this headset also comes with a mic that you could just go like this I don't use that mic, so I just slot it like inside of the headset. And pretty much all the controls on the headset are on the back here. You can use it wired, you have a charging thing, and there's a mute, unmute, and a scroll for your volume. The audio quality is pretty good. To be honest, I don't need anything really good because I stream, play video games. But yeah, pretty much these are just perfect for me. I would recommend them to you guys 100%. Once again, if you guys want to buy any of these products, the links will be down below in the description. But with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit 
hit that like button and subscribe. It really does motivate me to make more videos when you like and subscribe. So I do really appreciate it when you guys do that. But with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to check out my Twitch, I stream on there almost every day. My Twitch will be in the description also. And yeah, have a great day. I'll see you guys in the next video.